Cindy and I love filming all kinds of wildlife, and this definitely does include birds. We have a lot of great videos of birds, and on our June 25th trip by Douglas Lake and into the Nicola Valley and up by Cane Valley in Harmon Lake, we encountered a wide variety of birds, and we got, I think, some really great videos of things that you don't normally see. So this is a compilation of the birds that we saw. Hold it, there's an old bird over here singing on the fence too. Just stop the way. We drove by a meadowlark on the road. It was sitting on the fence. In here. Oh, there's two little birds. Oh, okay, go on. And normally meadowlarks are skittish up where we live. And it's, we are able to catch them on fences, but not that readily. Now this one, we already drove by. Turn around again. And we had to do a U-turn, double back, and it didn't fly away. It just kept sitting on the fence, so we were able oh, to approach it. On the fence. Go ahead. Shut it down. Got a bug in its mouth. Mm-hmm. Man, I tell you, if we had an RV that we could take into these areas and spend a few days, I can't imagine the, the things that we could capture, I'm things that we would find. Guys. That's a loon. Canadian loon. The lonely call of the loon. They're fairly common, but not everything that we film is common. Might. It's a bird. A little bird dancing around. Why is it doing that? One, two, there comes one at the bottom and one at the top. Oh, Three no. babies! Or the babies, it's got babies. Three babies! They nest on the ground. And how scary it must be. Crawled underneath her or him. Imagine for birds that nest on the ground, just in the rocks, and with the predators it's around. Underneath its feathers. For the babies to survive. and. I could see the little baby's head poking out from underneath her feathers and stuff, mm -hmm. but they were all there for mommy's protection, for the warmth of her. And uh, I, I can't imagine at night time how frightening it must be. Okay, let's move on. Cindy was saying it's incredible the round hole they can make, the woodpeckers. There she is. Cindy spotted the woodpecker as we were driving along the road. We didn't get out of our vehicle. We're filming it from the vehicle, not to disturb it. And all the birds, we film them and we leave as quickly as possible after we get our footage. It's not about uh, frightening them, disturbing them, uh, causing them more stress. And uh, 
while we're sitting there filming this woodpecker, I am not kidding. I have the video in entirety, but I mean, I don't think anyone wants to watch a bird's uh, a hole in the tree for an, a minute. But she was returning within a minute each time with feed for her young little birds in that hole. And think about the, you know, the creativity the birds have to create that round opening and then even hollow out a bit of the inside of the tree to have its babies. Because these babies are loud. I mean, if they were on the ground, every predator would know from a mile away where they are. It's nature is so incredible. And like I say, you know, we're sitting in the car right beside the road. A couple of vehicles went by us. But they're heading to the lake. They're not paying attention and stuff like that. And again, the saying is that, you know, you miss so much of the world when you're rushing around. After a while, those little babies would be very annoying with all their crying and crying. I do wonder if they return to the same hole year after year. So if we return next year around this time, would we still find her? Or maybe the baby's returning there and having their own babies. Cindy got very good at spotting when she was flying in, so she'd be saying, here she comes. And then she would fly away, not very far, and like I said, within a minute, return with more insects. We didn't see how she captured her insects, whether it was on the fly, or if she got them off a tree bark or whatever, but... Uh, she returned very quickly with them. You could even see the baby sticking its head up wanting to get fed. She returns within a minute, yeah, with food for her babies. Another truly amazing found we, we had uh, was this, uh, and Cindy believes it's a golden eagle way up in the sky. And uh, first of all, it's a huge bird. It's a raptor. It's circling. But then it started calling. And I have no knowledge whether it was calling for its mate or why it was calling. But it kept on doing it steady. And such a beautiful large bird. just kept circling around so I was able to set the camera to smooth slow record and get some video of it at 240 frames per second and she circles around and the Sun gets on her I mean it's such a beautiful sight very majestic I mean, they're trying to figure out what bird should be Canada's uh, uh, symbol, emblem. Uh, I, it, that is incredible. And that was the moon, by the way, in the background. It landed in the trees not far from us, and Cindy walked down there and was getting these shots of it in the tree while it kept on calling. Just some of the more incredible birds that we filmed on our travel just in one day.
and we weren't even looking for them. Thank you for watching our videos.